So, it is almost Christmas, two days until Christmas, and at this time of the year, although it's been a rough year, we're supposed to be happy, full joy, have Christmas spirits, and all that stuff. You know, the typical Christmas stuff, right? Unfortunately, in the motorsports world, that's not the case. Because literally, not only Formula One, but the highest Formula One team has given us the middle finger as a gift. Why? Because Nikita Mazpin, no matter what he did, is still going to be in Formula One next year for Haas. And of course, everybody just like myself are outraged about this. So, unfortunately, this will not be a positive video. This is going to be a rant video about Nikita Mazpin. So with that being said, let's begin. So, what's been going on for the past couple weeks about Nikita Mazpin? I believe the Formula 2 season just ended, Mick Schumacher became the 2020 Formula 2 champion, and I believe um, after the, um, the soccer uh, Formula 2 race, the, the short version of Bahrain, Nikita Mazpin filmed himself on his Instagram story grabbing a woman's breast. Yeah. Basically, he pretty much filmed himself sexually un unconsensually assaulted her grabbing her breast. So, of course, everybody has the right to be outraged about this because that's just extremely uncalled for. If you're a public figure, if you're a public figure, you're supposed to not to, to be doing stupid things, whether it's public or private. You were supposed to be careful not to ruin your own reputation. But that's what Nikita Maspin did. And how did Formula One and the Haas F1 team handle it? Nothing. Nothing. They did not do anything. Even if they somehow did... They did a terrible, terrible job. And why is Nikita Maspin still in Formula 1 next year? It's because the stacks. It is about the stacks. He is daddy's fucking money. In case you don't know, his dad's name is Dmitry Maspin. He is a Russian businessman who was born in Belarus. He's a majority shareholder and chair of Oral Chem Integrated Chemicals Company. His net worth is $7.1 billion. And of course, that is how Nikita got into the sport. And before all this controversy happened, he was, gonna, he, he was going to Haas because, oh, Haas was struggling financially and they needed a, a fucking rich kid and all that stuff. And then that incident happened... And then we waited for like what? Two weeks to see how Formula One and Haas handled the situation. And then th this morning, when I woke up, I heard the news that Nikita Maspin is still going to be in Formula One next year. And I got to say, that is the most fucking disgraceful move I have ever seen. In Formula One history. In my point of view. I don't know this worst. But so far this is the worst I've seen. And of course I'm not pleased about it. And neither should you. The fact that. He. Filmed himself. Grabbing a woman's tits. And still gets to keep the ride. It's bullshit. He's only there because of the money. If this was anybody else. No matter how talented you are. It's all about the money. You could literally do a bunch of horrible things, but as long as you have money, you're still going to keep your seat. And that is just 
bullshit. It is bullshit that he's still going to be in Formula 1 next year. And here's the thing. Honestly, I don't watch Formula 2 and Formula 3. But I've heard some stuff about what Maspin did. Before he got into Haas. And... And there's a reason why a lot of people are saying... We say no to mass pin or mass out. There is a reason why. This is not just about the sexual assault video. So I have, um, I have the, the, the stuff that he's done from one of my good friends, Zay McLovin on Instagram. He posted this on a story. I give him credit for that. Now I'm just looking. So there are nine things he did. And I'm not just talking about, like, what he did earlier this month. So, number one. what? So, here's what Nikita Maspin did. Number one. He punched Callum Elit. I'm not sure how to spell his last name. I don't, know, I don't know how you can say his last name. I don't watch Formula 2. I want to, but I... Anyway. He punched Callum Elit until he had a black eye and a swollen jaw just after getting blocked during a session. Number two, he drove towards the number two stands and almost hit Yuki with it. Um, Yuki Tsumi, that's his last name. He's going to be in AlphaTauri next year, replacing Daniel Kvyat. Number three, he asked for nudes from a Formula One fan. Also said nasty things and kind of mad when he, and he was kind of mad when she didn't give it. Number four, that one year since the guy with Wuhan ate a bat happy birthday COVID story. Basically, he was saying, oh, happy birthday COVID and all that stuff. Joke or not, that's just stupid. You're a public figure. You can't, you, you're not supposed to be doing anything stupid like that. Number five said, quote, I have a secret about you, mate, that people might call a coming out on George Russell's live stream. No matter if George Russell... No matter George Russell is gay or straight, I will still support him no matter what. Number six, racist in every aspect, especially the comment towards Yuki. I don't even know, I don't even want to know what he said. Is it? Uh, of course, it's bad, but how bad is it? Number seven, he threw a party during a morning. I don't know about. That I don't know too much about that part. Was it about after Antoine Hubert passing away or something from Spa? I don't know about that part. If anybody knows, please help me out because I got no clue. Not sure. Um, Zay should have, uh, Isaiah should have specified on number seven, I guess. I guess it's about Antoine Hubert. Number eight always drives the way he wants, no matter if it could harm other drivers. So, I think, like, I, I've seen a clip of how he was driving with, how he was racing with another driver on the closing lap of the Sakura race. And honestly, what the fuck? That's what Formula One, that's the type of drivers Formula One wants to see. A driver almost killing another driver for driving like a fucking idiot. There's a difference between racing hard and driving like an idiot. And almost killing someone. There's a big difference. Did he get penalized for that? Did he? I don't know. And the last one, of course, the video of him grabbing woman's breast and he posted himself to his story. So, yeah. And of course, we say no to Mazpin. <sighs> so, the fact that. Formula One or the FIA would penalize Lewis Hamilton for wearing a uh, a Brianna Taylor shirt while he was standing up for Black Lives and standing up against police brutality. Respectfully, might I add, the fact that he was going to get penalized for that, but... When it comes to Nikita Maspin, they don't do anything about it. That's fucking bullshit. You know what Formula One... You know the thing that Formula One is doing? The we race as one. Honestly, that's bullshit. They don't fucking care. They just want the attention. 
and they just what they're just doing bullshit. Why? Because the fact that they would really penalize Hamilton for standing up to what he believes in, but when it comes to Nikita Maspin grabbing a woman's breast, and she felt uncomfortable about it, by the way. That's bullshit. That's stupid. They only want him because the stacks. They want the stacks. I know. Like, everything's about money in motorsports and in today's society. I get that. But allowing Maspin into the sport, after all the terrible stuff he's done, of course we're going to be outraged about it. Here's the thing. When I got into Formula 1 again, I think like 2016, 2017, when I wasn't really... I think like when I was watching the sport, uh, watching Formula 1 as much as I can... Because the race starts, like, different time zones around the country. Like, I never hated, I never hated any driver. Not even Lance Stroll. I never understood the hate for Lance Stroll. And I found out, like, oh, because he's a rich kid. Because of his dad. Because daddy's cash. And personally, I still never hated him for that. I, I don't. I don't hate anybody. Especially Lance Stroll. And here's Lance Stroll now. He's doing he was doing great for Racing Point. Let's see how he does for Aston Martin next year. He's got like, what, three podiums? He won a pole this year? I think he's got like, what, three podiums in his career? That's, that's pretty much outstanding for a midfield driver with a midfield team. I think, I believe he's got talent. I know he's done it because of the money, but hey, I will take him over Maspin any day. I will take any rich kid who either has talent or not but as long as they're a good person not a fucking asshole i'll take them any day maspin no he's a disgrace to the fia fuck nikita maspin and like what about the women who are working in formula one whether she's a reporter whether she works for a team what about the women who work at Haas. Think about how they're going to feel if Maspin, since Maspin is going to be in a team. Think about how they feel. Of course, they're going to be uncomfortable. And the fact that Gunther Steiner and other people in Haas are still going to keep him because of the stacks, that's just disgraceful. And honestly, I never hated a Formula One driver until now. I mean, of course, until, like, I found out what the shit Maspin has done. Nikita Maspin, I despise him. I don't even watch Formula 2 and I already despise him. He's not even in Formula 1 yet. He hasn't raced a Formula 1 race yet. And I already despise him. That's sad. That's sad. But, hey... That's on him. That's his own fault that he's getting hated on. And he's getting hated for the right reason. How the fuck can you be a Nikita Maspin fan? How? How? There's a bunch of terrible stuff he's done. Imagine <laughs> imagine being a fan of that fucking asshole. Oh my god. <sighs> Gunther Steiner can be... I don't care how funny Gunther Steiner is on Drive to Survive. I don't fucking care. But the fact that he allows Maspin in Haas, that's fu- No, no. Fuck you, Gunther Steiner. I don't care how funny you are. You're a fucking wanker. You got rid of two wankers just to have one of them as a sexual assaulter and a terrible human being. Of course, Mick Schumacher. I believe he's going to be good. In Formula One. He's already a, an F2 champion. He's following his father's footsteps. I believe he's got potential. But for Nikita Maspin. Sorry about Charlie. But for Nikita Maspin. I really hope. He struggles in his career. I really hope. I wish him nothing but. Horrible luck in Formula One. I really hope. He gets karma. For all the shit he's done. He doesn't deserve to be in Formula One. He doesn't. 
He doesn't belong in any form of motorsports at all. So kids, what have we learned today? You can be a terrible person, but as long as you have money, everything will be okay. You can play race car because you got money. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Nikita Mazpin, no matter how much of a shitty person he is, he's still good to be in the sport because of daddy's cash. So yeah. Oh yeah, also he, of, of course, he also did it in an apology post on a story because he got caught. And I'm sure it's bullshit too. He don't mean it. He don't care. But the real villains of this situation is Haas. Why? They only kept this piece of shit only because of money. So, pretty much Nikita Masper can be a fucking asshole on the track or off the track all he wants. But as long as he has money to be in the team, that's all that matters. And also Formula 1. Again, they're not safe in this situation. It's funny. It's funny that how they got these sort of rules... And also, they have the we race as one stuff. And the fact that they still allow him in the sport because of money. Yeah. There are pieces of shit too as well. So, nobody here's a good guy. I really wish the drivers also stood up against Nikita. Even George Russell. Even Yuki. Even like a bunch of drivers. There's other worse stuff Nikita has done. But hey, he's still going to be in the sport because of money. So if you have money, you're good. I really hope he doesn't stay in Formula 1 forever. I don't want him in the sport. Nobody does. He's not even... He hasn't even started a Formula 1 race and he's already a disgrace. Disgraceful. What a disgraceful decision for Formula 1 and Haas. To let him be in the sports and being in the house. Poor Mick Schumacher though. I really feel awful for him because he's going to be a team. He's, he's going to have an asshole of a teammate. So, hate it, you hate it for Mick Schumacher. You hate it for the Schumacher fans. So yeah. As long as you have money. Apparently everything's okay, but in reality, it's not. I hate the fact that when you're a bad person, you get out, you get away with anything scot free. But if you're an innocent person, oh, you get punished. That's bullshit. And the shit that this has happened is stupid, disgraceful. Fucking bullshit. So, of course, I'm not a happy camper about this situation, and neither should anybody. <sighs> I really hope other drivers wreck him. I really hope other drivers race him dirty. Just, yeah, I'm sure a lot of drivers hate Nikita. I'm sure they do. I don't know how they feel. I don't know how they feel about Nikita. Do they, do they even want to say something about it? I'm sure they do, but oh, if you say something about it, you get punished. I don't know, but I really hope Nikita Maspin has a shitty career in Formula One. That's all I gotta say. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Sorry that I had to make this, but I needed, I needed this to come out of my chest. So I'm just, so this is Ian Press Woody signing off. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts and link in this description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for this kind of video for more, or for more racing topics with Ian Perez. <sighs> Thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation. And I'll see you guys in a happy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays, except for Nikita Maspin and 
the people in Haas who hired him and kept him still and still defending him. Formula One has failed us. They flipped us off. And we do not stand by this. That's all. Goodbye.